probe going in. 12 volts. Out. In. Let's check. Next wire. And we've got 1.7 volts. Little turn of the wheel, we'll see. I'm not able to turn it. Come on, you motherfucker. I think we're gonna get a scope pan. Let's have a little look here. Automotive, sensor, abs, anal log. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get anything. It's a signal. Just gonna flip this over to graph. And we're gonna graph the wheel speed signals now that the connector's been fixed. See what we got, right. Pull away and we can see straight away the speed signal is back. Got a little irregularity because the left hand one is nice and steady. The right hand one is dropping down. It's shooting all over the place now. It's okay, it's steady, speed is good. It is dropping down though. These, uh, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing that. So we had no speed signal before. Now, it's a very noisy signal. It's not good. Yeah, we've got an irregularity on that. And it's tripped out, it's gone up to 255 miles an hour. And we go back. Out the data streams. Read the fault codes. Three fault codes. We have front right, front right, front right wheel speed sensor. Unstable circuit current. Right, we're going to clear those again. No fault codes. Good start. Back to the live data. Front right, front left. And we're going to graph these speeds straight away. That front right one is not giving the right signal. Okay, now it's dropping down again. Speed signal is very erratic. Opposed to the left, which we know is a known good. As we can see, the right is a known not good. Take it above 15 20 kilometers. Right, so speed signal's going good up to 17 kilometers. The signal is all over the place. 25, and there it's tripped out again. Right, head back to the workshop and check the fault codes and get the scope on it again, I think.
signal generator time again. Set up for ABS sensor. Sending the signal out straight to the scope. Scope reading. Step in. Low back. Steady. Yep. Now, plug the signal generator into the ABS plug. So, and we're going to plug the scope into the ABS. And we're going to check the signal. And apart from having the polarity reversed, which isn't a problem, soon change that. Put these around the other way. And there, what have we got? The same signal. So using the signal generator, through the ABS wiring, through the harness, up to the plug, coming out of the plug, perfect signal. Using the AutoSim Pro from Ditex to diagnose a strange ABS fault we've got. It's had a new sensor, it's had a new bearing, it's had an ABS pump. We've fixed this connector which was broken but we've got a very, very bad, noisy um, scope reading. It should be square wave and it's all over the place. It works up to 20 miles an hour and then trips out. So I'm just using this to simulate the ABS sensor. So first thing we want to do is set it up in waveform generator. We want square wave. Um, frequency peak we're going to have down to, uh, I believe we had it at one point. Um, seven volts we took a reading from the known good side and the low voltage we had at point nine of a volt I believe so when we set this up with um, 100 Hertz frequency it doesn't matter what frequency you set it at because it will still be Live, it'll just give a zero speed. Give it at 100 hertz and 50% duty cycle. And then we'll turn it on. Now it's on and it's sending a signal up to the ABS. The first thing we have to do is because we unplug the ABS, is clear the fault code. So we're going to clear the fault code. Hopefully, it should now be cleared. No fault codes, it's good. It's sending a signal out. So now we're happy we've got no fault codes. We're gonna read the data stream for the right hand and the left hand front wheel speed sensors. And you can see the front wheel speed on the right hand side is sitting along at 16 kilometers an hour. We're gonna increase the frequency on here to 200 Hertz and see what happens. And we're going to keep increasing the frequency up to 49 kilometers an hour and we're going up to 60 so for some reason the ABS pump is generating the signal perfectly but when I go down the road and I get to 20 kilometers an hour it flatlines it skitters about and it goes up to 255 kilometers and puts the fault light on and I can see just from doing this the wiring on the signal side is pucker what do I do next what I've managed to do I've captured a waveform of uh, about two complete turns of the wheel and now you can see each segment here is one of the magnets which is missing these are the ones which are correct on the disc and this is a big chunk which is missing so if we watch two complete revs we've got these two missing one two three four five six seven good teeth and we move it across and then we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 30, about thirty anyway if you count them good teeth then you go up again you got the two missing teeth 
then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven good teeth again, then the missing ones, and then you got again about thirty good ones. The two missing ones again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven good ones again. Whoops, seven good ones again. Then the missing ones. Then one, two, then so on and so forth. I think that's all I captured. Just keep scrolling across. Yeah, there you go again. The two missing teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven good teeth. And then the gap again. Keep scrolling. Oh, it, run, it runs out. So to zoom it out, you can see missing teeth on the bear. Hopefully the last little video. Right up in there, if you can see, you can see the reluctant disc, whatever you want to call it at this time of night, for the bearing. Now if I spin the wheel, it all looks nice, all looks nice, all looks nice, all looks good, keeps looking good, keeps looking nice, keeps looking good, keep going, keep going, and then you start to see some little bits of damage and just in there it's very very difficult to get the picture you can just see it's really hard on the camera but you can see in real life loads of rust and everything maybe some hammer marks On the wheel. Oh, well, if I can zoom. So there. Good bit. Bad bit. Really bad bit. And then back to good bit.